Bonjour, comment ça va? I hope everybody is doing great today. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a review about the Wacom Cintiq 16, my perspective, what I think of it, um, and if I recommend it. First of all, uh, before I start talking about the Cintiq and as a traditional artist going to digital, uh, these characters that I'm, um, did and currently was is coloring they're from final fantasy so they're not my character there's just fan art so that's chocobo that's from final fantasy usually chocobo is all is actually in almost all the final fantasies games um and we can say he represent a lot of the final fantasy games along with mug from final fantasy um 13 too He's the one on the top, the little cute little guy. Probably you guys will see it later. So the reason why I drew these guys is because Final Fantasy, the remake, Final Fantasy VII, from, the remake was released last month. Um, it was around April 10. So I just wanted to draw them for the fun of um, the theme of Final Fantasy, the remake. So yeah, let's get into the review. So first, uh, my perspective, I'm a traditional artist, so going from traditional and trying into digital was a little challenging for me. Even though before, uh, we can say previously, when I was around like 15, I guess, I used to do a little of editing from Photoshop with some of the characters and just changing some colors, but it's, it's totally different because I'm more focused into traditional, which is with watercolor, pencils, and pen, and all that good stuff. So it was kind of a little to experiment, just trying around with the system, seeing that you had to draw from a tablet to a computer to have the information, I mean, the drawing, and the, how the colors came, comes out really nice. So it, I definitely would recommend people to try those who were traditional to move to digital it's gonna be a fun experience so my perspective with the Wacom so the Wacom tablet 16 it's have an amazing quality I really love the matte finish that the screen have the pen that it comes with because the pen is one of the most important things for me as a uh, traditional artist. So I've done, I draw usually with a um, mechanic pencil or with a uh, sketch drawing pen, we can say that. So they vary sometimes on sizes while this pen is actually have a nice size, we can say that. It have this rubber on the end that, that your fingers are not going to get hurt while you're drawing, which is good. And the timing from the screen to what you draw is actually exact. My perspective, I don't have any complaint with it. It's exactly good timing. So when I mean timing is when you're drawing the line, it follows through. It's not like it delays a few seconds or you feel like you're missing a time on it while it adjusting the drawing. So I'm really pleased with that. It's a really good, um, we can say investment, I guess, using this tablet. My size of my tablet is almost the size of um, my laptop. My laptop is kind of uh, medium small, we can say that. So it's almost like my hands and my forearm, we can say that. So it's a good size for me. And since I'm a, um, I'm not a desk person. I usually don't draw in my desk. I usually always drawing somewhere else. Sometimes at work, sometimes at a cafe, at the living room. So I move a lot, a little. So, um, I mean, not a little, a lot. <laughs> so for me, having the size of this tablet is really good. I really like the size for me. I can carry around. It's not heavy at all. It's just this, I think the weight is actually good. It's not neither heavy, neither really light doesn't feel cheap what I'm trying to say um the only little complaint I have and I guess that's gonna be my fault because I guess I didn't read or I didn't pay attention I just order it I guess right away I didn't check so the only thing is that it carries a big cord and have like around three cords connecting to it plus the power cord so there is a lot of cords connecting and plugging it and adding to your computer 
which is kind of make it a little difficult for me since I'm a person that draws almost everywhere. So I gotta carry my laptop, I gotta carry the quartz, and plus I gotta carry the Wacom, which it's okay, but that's a little, if I'm trying to be picky, that's the little disappointment because I thought it was gonna be wireless. But no, it's actually have to connection. Again, I guess it's my fault or not reading or not checking some in some previous um, information of people making videos or some reviews. So again, but besides that, um, it comes with a little pouch um, that's just to protect from like a dust bag. We can say that. So you you need actually to get a bag or something like that. Like I'm planning on doing. Alright, um, now do I recommend this Wacom tablet to anyone? Yes, I do recommend this tablet, um, not only because of the quality in my experience, but also I think it's always good to try new things, try to improve, and I noticed that I need to move a little from traditional art and try to master or get better on digital. Plus the Wacom tablet, I besides that is really good. It it actually makes you feel like you're actually drawing on traditional sketchbook or something. And it it, it helps you to improve with the drawing and it's easier I guess because you can if you make a little mistake you can clean it up, you can uh, undo, we can say that I guess and it's easier to get a color um, palette, we can say. But do I, I know it's too early for me to say, do I prefer or do I like better the draw, uh, traditional drawing or digital? Yes, I still love traditional, but I'm interested on in moving a little away from traditional and work on digital because that's going to be a new experience plus using the Wacom tablet it's also a new experience so if any of you guys had an experience with a Wacom tablet what was your experience you guys are more free and welcome to comment down below write what's your experience or which is your favorite I know there is the iPhone tablet as well but I was more like recommended or I've seen a lot of or people that I know that use the Wacom and they told me this antique was actually a good to try as my first media as digital to do Alright, before ending this video, um, I want to thank you all for supporting, for checking my videos to subscribers well. And hopefully I'll be doing more videos often. Um, it's only that this video got a little delay, have some technical difficulties. But hopefully I'll be uploading a little more often. If you want to check some of my artwork that I do, you can check on my Instagram. I'm going to put a link down below and I'll be trying my best on doing these videos a little more often. Alright, um, thank you again and enjoy the final of the video. And merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À la prochaine. Thank you.